Before you begin, remove the base enclosure and battery. Removal Peel back the adhesive tape, securing the left and right edges of the touchpad button board to the top cover. Remove the speaker cable from the routing tabs on the touchpad button board bracket. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the touchpad button board ZIF connector and disconnect the touchpad button board ribbon cable from the system board. Remove the touchpad button board ribbon cable from the adhesive that secures it to the top cover. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the touchpad board ZIF connector and disconnect the touchpad board ribbon cable from the touchpad board. Remove the three 3 mm P1 Phillips head screws that secure the touchpad button board bracket to the top cover. Lift the touchpad button board bracket off of the alignment pins on the top cover and remove. Remove the 3 mm P0 Phillips head screw that secures the touchpad button board to the top cover. Lift the front edge of the touchpad button board and slide the rear edge out from underneath the tabs and cut out on the top cover. Remove the touchpad button board. Replacement Tow the rear edge of the touchpad button board under the tabs and cut out on the top cover and lower it into position. Replace the 3 mm P0 Phillips head screw that secures the touchpad button board to the top cover. Place the touchpad button board bracket onto the alignment pins on the top cover. Replace the three 3 mm P1 Phillips head screws that secure the touchpad button board bracket to the top cover. Insert the touchpad board ribbon cable into the touchpad board ZIF connector on the touchpad board and press the locking bar down to lock the cable into place. Insert the touchpad button board ribbon cable into the touchpad button board ZIF connector on the system board and press the locking bar down to lock the cable into place. Route the speaker cable through the routing tabs on the touchpad button board bracket. Reattach the adhesive tape to the left and right edges of the touchpad button board to secure it to the top cover. Apply pressure along the length of the touchpad button board ribbon cable to adhere it to the top cover. Thanks for watching. Please click subscribe for more awesome videos and weekly updates.